Hello, I'm Entrilitim and welcome to From the Depths. I have done some work on our heli carrier and in theory it should work now. In theory, it, it shouldn't shoot itself repeatedly. Because that was a rather embarrassing first trial. Uh, now, in theory, it should not. And I say in theory repeatedly because I do not trust myself, nor it. More. Ha, ah, we were dragging you back. You shall return. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Oh, you might hit me. I worry. Okay, so I've made adjustments. I have made adjustments to all the guns and told all the guns that they shouldn't fire in certain arcs and restricted their arcs of fire. Hopefully, they should not shoot us again because that was bad was very bad. Oh god, are we going to get squished? We might get squished. Please don't squish me. Yes. We are not squished. Awesome. Uh, and the main gun, which was underneath it, you know, really couldn't get an arc of fire because it had to fire up through the craft to really aim upwards, is now hung down below on a rather crudely attached appendage. And it can go low if necessary. It can only sort of Oh dear, I thought we were going to be brain for a moment. I can only sort of fire at 9 degrees up, so it's not great, but it'll do. Um, and I should probably take everything out of load. But this is the current helicarrier. It's not finished yet. I should probably put the wings there up on the uh, workshop. People have asked me to do that. I won't do it yet with the helicarrier. It still needs work. But the wing zero, I think, is ready to go. So yeah, the wing zero. I'll put it up on the Steam Workshop if I remember. <laughs> if I remember. Um... What do we have to say about the rest of this? I haven't shown you the internals yet, so let's go do that. Uh, there aren't any staircases, there are in fact teleporters instead. And we'll teleport to... Yeah. This is the bridge. It holds all the things that you would normally have in a bridge, like controlly things. It does not have an AI to actually fly the ship. That is my job currently. Uh, I can always put an AI in to fly the ship later on. Uh, let's teleport here. Where am I? I believe I am on the right bottom deck. Okay, so on the bottom deck, this is the front of the ship, our front quad turret. Uh, you can see our side turrets. And we have a whole load of repair bots here because we are going to need them. That's why we were so repaired in the last fight. We, like, we looked at ourselves and was like, why are we only 95%? I thought it would be more damaged. It's because these guys have been doing their job. Uh, in here, we have our ammo processors, which are currently not working, I believe. Oh no, they are. They're all active. Okay, so they should replenish our ammo based on our metal. Not a terrible thing. Now I've got metal, but meh. Yeah. This is our main snipery gun. I've left two holes, so you've got a hole up there and a hole down here that the little bots can get in to repair the thing. This is the main turbine. Hello. And these are the side underslung guns. Um, I don't think I can really get through the turbine. I'm not going to risk it. That would be kind of painful. I'm going to go back to the teleporter. Hello, teleporter. Yes, I know we're only traveling at like 17 FPS. It's a large ship. Um, teleport. Nope, that's the roof. Teleport. Aha! Yes, now we're on the top floor. In the... I need to get out of the teleporter. It's difficult. My head is stuck. My head is stuck. There we go. So these red rooms are marked with red metal to indicate that there is ammo directly behind this wall, as you can see. Ah, hello. Um, basically, it's my new idea is that every time I coat uh, an ammo stockpile in, like, a material, I make that material red, and that way I can see when we're down to our first, like, sorry, our last layer of armor. It allows me to see that we're about to explode. So, in theory, in theory, we can see when we're going to explode better. I don't know if it's going to happen, but we already lost one of these. I think it's repaired again. So, this is the engine. It's a pretty powerful engine. We have, uh, 350,000 power. None of which is really being used right now because we aren't using lasers yet, and we also don't need shields yet. These are the missile batteries, and there's four of these for the sides. I don't know where the... Oh, the main missile battery is at the back on the ground floor, and it's hard to get to. These are the beginnings of the rear turrets, and these are the engines. Oh, yes. If we got down here, then we should be able to... Oh, yeah. Bottom back turrets. And... These are the crazy missiles where they've got like 48 on each side. And also, we have a room that's just completely empty. This is going to be like my stateroom or something. The, 
giant like central turbine is just through that wall, so probably a little bit of noise pollution. Uh, but it is a, you know, a fairly nice quarter. It's probably the biggest room on the ship that's not actually taken up by anything. And if you know your teleporters aren't working for whatever reason, you still have manual access to the bridge through here. Because I originally designed it with manual access in mind and then went, oh, teleporters, they'll be better. So it's pretty good. I'll have to put teleporters on like the uh, fortresses as well so I can teleport do them rather than doing all this. Teleporters are awesome. Uh, right. I really should put an AI to control the ship in. I'll do that some other stage. Uh, map mode. Anyone here? No one? No one wants to fight? Okay. What I should do is send the heli out in a direction. I don't know which direction yet. There is a 50 here. And a 30. Yeah. We're going to send the... Where are you? Let's grab everyone. Heli wooden. We're going to send that prototype out here to this 50 and also to this 30 and take them all on. And in theory, it should travel pretty fast because it does have a pretty high top speed. Uh, it says 20, 10 there. It's actually 10 on level flight. If I chose to be like in non-level flight, like diving, I could pretend it's 20. And the, sh the, machine, the, uh, the system would be like, oh, you can reach 20. It's like, yeah, in a dive. Uh, but sure, let me travel at 20 on the map screen. Um, but I'm, I'm fine with 10. Like, that's not cheating. It's actually faster than the wing zeros really go. So, it's kind of helpful. Uh, what we'll do is we'll get the Patrick Craig to take out this 10. I think if you come back to here, you should go through... Oh. Wrong one. Sorry. Get the Patrick Craig to come back to here. Take out this 10. The 39, I think we'll get the uh, the wooden heli to do as well. What about you? How tough are you? A 15, there's a 20 there. Okay. Wing zero. Do me a favor. Take those guys out. Now, we should also consider our sight range. Our sight range isn't great. We could probably do with sending the Eric. So let us grab home fleet. I want the Eric. Oh, we should also pull all. There we go. Lag is over. Oh, so much better. Um, split into new fleet. HMS Eric. HMS SS Eric. Okay. We're going to send you to stand here. In the middle of the island. And that should give us a bit better sight line. In fact, if we stand you here. There we go. You should get a pretty decent view. Okay, let's go 10 times speed. Oh god. Flickering map. Flickering map. Is this because I'm wearing binoculars? I don't know. Hmm... Oh, uh, what do we have? Anything important? No. I think we're good. What I could do is I could build another wing zero. I honestly don't think that's a terrible idea. Just to do some force pro uh, sort of pro pro protection? No, projection. Okay, let's do that. Lithium home base. Spawn this force into the world. Teleport to... Boing. And... Ah! I would like you to spawn me a... Did I save the Patrick Craig? I'm not sure I saved the Patrick Craig. I did. I did save the Patrick Craig. Okay. So yeah, you are the most up-to-date Wing Zero class. I want you to load, hold, until nothing is built and spawn at 30 meters. And then I want the docking beam to grab the HMS Wing Zero, select on 90 of a hold distance of 32. Excellent. Ah, oh, the build speed is lovely. The uh, the helicarrier actually can build as well. It actually has facilities to build. It has the facilities for a fighter wing, which we haven't really worked on at one point. We will. Um, yes, I would like to take them all on, and we will fight this battle. I clicked off. Whoops. What are you? Urchins? Let's just go for it. 
teleport. And begin battle. Wrong one. Wrong one. Where's the enemy? Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, really close. Wow. Yeah, you're, you're just... You're dead. You are very dead. Yeah, even the connect kill vehicles have been fired at you, which is a complete waste. Battle finished. Hatred, minus 75.9. Hello? 10 times speed it is. And flickering map screen. Please, please calm down. Calm, calm, calm. Calm down. It's because I had the binos out? Yeah, it was because I had the binos out. It's a bug. Um, I don't know what I want to really do with you. I guess go up here. Take out that 11 and then the 10. Expand our forces a little bit. I should probably put a radar dish on our ridiculously large heli carrier, but... Eh? Right. The heli wooden is moving in. Patrick Craig's moving up there. You're moving up there. Oh, you will engage a 40 stack, actually. Let's not do that. Let's just engage the 20 for now. We can just get the heli carrier to go on and take that 40 over. Go here, then go here. Crystal. Ooh. Okay, we'll definitely want to capture this resource base then. Hello, here we go. I can't really fight you. Um, I'll turn the Patrick Craig around to fight. I'll just sit there. Okay, uh, I get to choose which fight to go for. Um, we'll do a quick fight over here first, I think. And I will teleport to them. Start the battle. Teleport. Unlink, and how's the battle going? Ooh, have they got a s Yes! Now, in theory my, theory, my torpedoes can actually get down there. Those are missiles. Where are my torpedoes? Oh, yeah, there they are. Look at them. Beautiful. Exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, God, he's... Oh, nice torpedoes. That is what I have you here for. Health below 80 and sinking. Oh, I'm ripping itself apart. Oh, my God. I love it. How long do you have? Minus. Yeah, you're dead. Okay. I've got to say, you fought valiantly. I beat you, but well tried. Did you get any damage on me? Mm, doesn't look like it. Oh, actually, no, you took my turret off. Wow. Okay. Well played indeed. Uh, I will take this force out of play. Repair. I don't think it needs repairing, actually, now. Let's switch to you. Uh, we would like to begin the fight. I should have positioned you. But oh well. Oh, I can position you, yeah. I would like to position you at... Range. I'd like to teleport. I'd like to begin the battle. And then the lag will kick in. All the lag. All the lag. Here we go. Booting up the uh, heli carrier. <laughs> Maybe I should not build a heli carrier next time. Maybe just like a not too large battleship. Like, I didn't intend to build something ridiculously large, but. It ended up being that way. Is that a coffin nail? 
Give it to me. All right. Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. Okay, I'm losing chunks of my craft again. What two? Oh my god, the bat guns have just done it? Oh, I fixed you. I fixed you. Okay, we're gonna have to hope that we can kill the coffin nail. Did I forget to do- I forgot to do something. I had to retrofit to the- No, I didn't have to retrofit. I don't know. There should be- There should be limits on the guns. I, I have no idea. Okay, I'm gonna have to check that after the battle's over, but we're in a battle right now, so it's all about this battle. Okay, we haven't dropped our torpedoes. I would like to drop our torpedoes. I have not dropped our cruise missiles. I would like to drop our cruise missiles. Go, cruise missiles. Go, torpedoes. I don't know why half of them, like all the ones down one side just don't seem to work. No, they do. Okay. The coffin nail is turned over. Little boat is dead. Lovely. I'll have to check what the hell is wrong with you. How's Coffin Nail doing? Going down, presumably. Come on, kill the Coffin Nail. Bring all your weapons to bear. Oh, here we go. Cruise missiles are incoming. Yeah, you can say GG to the Coffin Nail. Coffin Nail? Coffin Nail. That's a new thing. A Coffin Nail. We should make an improved coffin nail called the coffin nail. Here we go. It's bullet time. Oh my god. Lovely. Just this interior chunk, this is just what disappeared. Look at that. Actually out the other side. And the AI is dead. Down to that urchin. Can that urchin survive? My bets are no. The urchin can't even respond. I feel almost sad for the urchin. Almost. And the accuracy of our cannons does mean that the urchin is... Yep. Although one did bounce off, which I'm very disappointed by. There we go. Ah, oh, I love giant accurate cannon. I just like looking up at us there in the distance. Seeing all this death raining down. Come on, kill it. It's... it's... <sighs> do I have to do everything myself? Bring the main cannon online. Main cannon, you should be in arc any second now. If you could shoot it, I would be appreciative. There we go, main cannon is targeting and firing. It doesn't matter. Cruise missiles. Yep. Boom, baby. Okay, just die already. Die. <laughs> just die. Also, why are you deflecting my shots? You should not be that tough. I am disappointed. There we go. And start to despawn. Bye. Oh wow, just all the firepower comes in now. 
Okay. You did, you did do good after you stopped shooting yourself. But why did you shoot yourself to begin with, huh? That's of a word. Also, flatten out your flight plan. You look drunk. Seriously? We're not flattening out this flight plan. That's actually getting worse. Oh. Oops. Wrong button. Help I use the right button. I'm sorry. Okay. Roll. 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 There we go. Who's a good heli carrier? Who's a good heli carrier? Yes, you are. Right. Now, let me question these back guns, because these back guns should not be doing that. They should have fire up set up. You do have fire up set up. Is wrong with you? Also, stop rolling. That mounting would hurt if you hit it. Just, you know, just so you're aware. Please tell me you've got... You do have angles of fire set up. I don't know. I do not know. We're going to fight them. We're at the range that we want. Hi. I would like to spawn. Yeah, I'll spawn in close. Begin battle. Okay. Yes, I, I realize that there is a, you know, spawning issue with the ridiculously sized craft that I have. It was maybe a little bit over spec for the Deepwater Guard. I, I have to admit that the heli is maybe a little bit... It's like... It's like I'm the Avengers versus... Bob. From Taxes. And we're constantly listing to the side at the moment. Why are we listing to the side? Also, we're being shot again by our guns. Can you see the damage being done? Oh, God. I'm a little blown up the ammo stockpile, despite the fact we're, like, really injuring ourselves. Stop shooting us. I will murder you in your sleep. And maybe if I increase the size of their fail safes. Why are we going down? We must have lost some turbines. I'm going to have to put an AI in. I want to go watch the enemy. Oh. oh, God. Where are we? Over here. Traveling. Yeah, we're listing again to the side. Well, that was quick. Um, I didn't really get to see the enemy. Just murdered them. Completely and utterly annihilated. It's like a ship with like cannons on the side, but moored. And they've got a little dock, and they've got little flags, and, and now they're dead, and I didn't even get a chance to really see them. Which I am not overly sad about. And we're still listing. We are still listing. Okay, that is actually, we're listing towards a mountain right now, so forgive me if I just start panicking. And I'm very, very mad about the one cannon that keeps shooting us. In fact, I'm just going to take the engines offline. I do not really want to be going forwards right now. 
I actually want to dive into the drink to solve this. Because I can always put down in the sea. Right. Why the hell are we listing? Do we have a turbine out? Those turbines do seem to be fine. Did we lose parts of the wing? No, we got parts of the wing. We lost a chunk here from idiot shooting us. What the hell is your problem, gun? You do have failsafe, them, right? Failsafe, failsafe, failsafe. You do. Radius. Checks a cylinder of... Um, 50 meters. Make it bigger. I know that that increases the load on the P CPU. Oh, wait. Do you not have a failsafe? You absolute idiot. You absolute... Ah! It's my fault. It's completely nothing my fault. Let's travel this way. And... Put in a failsafe. On the wrong component, because I'm an idiot. No, no, it's the right component. It just didn't look like it from my angle. Has a failsafe, yep. Okay. Now underwater. And a dasi. And a da Now I can use uh, my balloons to take off, but I want to try another type of takeoff if I didn't use my balloons. In which we pop the front. And we should be able to get just enough out of the water to lift the nose, lift the body. Water takeoff. Oh yeah. Now I still don't know why we were listing before. Let's try and take off like that. Because I want to build an AI to control all this. And the AI will go here. I know it's a bit exposed and vulnerable along with my entire command area. But I think that's kind of the charm of it. Like it has its its downsides. It's not perfect. Uh, we would like AI. AI mainframe. I would like a left-right card slot and another left-right card slot. I would like a aerial AI. I would like a portion balancing AI. Troll AI. And water start. Yeah, you can probably use water start. Actually, I've got the, the um, other stuff set up for that. I should, should be fine. Don't need any of these. Okay, we're good. Now, question is. Uh, most extreme roll we aim for facilitate a roll-based turn. That's fine. You really shouldn't be rolling to turn, but you can. Cruise altitude. 320. Wow. 300... It's not a three, that is an eight. Three. That is again a six. That is a four. I'm actually hitting the three. You know what? 420. Oh, look, a three. Minimum altitude. 150. Uh, distance beyond which we begin attack run. 1,000. No. Make that 1,500. Distance below which we abort attack run. 600. Lapse time before we force another attack run. Uh, keep low for fighters. I'm not a fighter. Max it out. Angle deviation before turn started. Zero. Angle deviation before we roll to turn. Um, about... About... Uh, 60. And then, most extreme roll we aim for to facilitate a roll based turn should only be about 30. You really shouldn't roll very much. 
not designed to roll. In fact, only roll when you want to go, like, actually never roll. Never roll at all. Now, are you flying? The question is, are you flying? Fine. Also, I should probably check the propulsion balancing. You work by yourself. Control card, you work by yourself. Okay. Force the nose down a little bit, and it should, in theory, be allowed to take off. Currently, we're going backwards, which is not really the intended design, and I'm also having, like, a rather flamey cab ride right now. Okay, there we go. Right, also deploy the balloons, just to help it. Oh, yeah. Okay. And now, this should be activate balloon deployers when uh, altitude is less than 50. Right. There's a resource zone here. Resource zone here. Enemies, enemies. There's a lot of enemies over here, so what I think is we do... So we go in over the land and take them out. Now, what I really want is for altitude to get like high enough that I can go over the, the like the mountains, so I don't have to take this ridiculous route. So I just want to get up to my altitude of like 300 and we'll take the enemy on. What else do we want to do? We want to take these guys on with you. Uh, we want you to take these guys on. Your crystal farm. Wing Zero, I want you to be repaired. You should be repairing all along. And I'll have to rename you. You'll be renamed the... Actually, no, I need to rename the carrier first, because the carrier just had its proving, and it did win. It, it did do a couple of mistakes, but it did win. And also, repair yourself. You are 2% injured. Hmm. Uh, yeah, sure. Repair yourself. That is fine. And we will name you. False name. You will be the HMS Up in Smoke. If I go back to the this vehicle view. HMS up in smoke. Yep. What's your altitude? 161. You keep going upwards. Until then, I would like to select the wing zero. New fleet. Force name. You are now the HMS Anwick. Except. So the HMS Anwick is going to be deployed up here when we're done. And we should be pretty good to uh, wipe out the Deepwater Guard, really. I mean, I know they've got a lot more area left. But it's neither here nor there to me. It's a bit better. Yeah. I'm going to pull all. And we get 10 times speed. And I think we'll end the episode there. I've been Andrew Lizzie. I'm hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you have room to like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Ooh, hello, White Flares. We are going to have a new, few new fights. In fact, 0.1 times speed. This guy is going to fight us in a second. Because they're moving at 65 meters per sec. What the hell are you? Flying Squirrel. Okay. Um, we'll be flying, fighting a Flying Squirrel down there. Uh, we'll take these guys, we'll take these guys, and we should be good to start wiping out the Deepwater Guard. They aren't really a threat to us anymore. We should be able to own them. Maybe we'll start working on a couple of new ships after we just take a chunk more of the Deepwater Guard. But until next time, I've been Aerolithium. If you enjoyed, please like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. And hurrah for the HMS up in smoke, even if it is a bit laggy. Let me know in the comments what you think. It is, do you want to see giant epic craft, but with lag? Would you like me to be a bit more afraid? Less lag, but less gigantic craft. That is entirely something I think, you know, would be nice to hear from the comments. What do you think? But until next time, stay shiny.